What is a tro- toxic trait that you love? Damn. Sorry. You can curse. Why not? curse. You're good. You can curse. A toxic trait that I love. <laughs> <laughs> can obsession be one? Yes. Like, like no, no boundaries? boundaries? I guess like that can't you like be your guys like obsessed with you, like love bombing you. Not, not love bombing, bombing, but like no, no boundaries, boundaries, as in like I don't. I, 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 I want, want to know that you want, want to know what I'm up to. I, I, I want, want to know, know that you give a shit versus right. like I'm too cool and like calm and I don't care. Like I need that attention of knowing that hey, I'm thinking of you or like. You want somebody anxious. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. You attachment. want them to be like, "Where were you last yeah. night?" Yeah. 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 Why'd you get home so late? I no, 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 no. Maybe not to that. Yeah. So, it's so, a very so, thin line. So what, <laughs> what you're referring to is attachment styles, because yeah. like basically, like there's there's two types of people. There's I people. Know what anxious attachment styles. Are. Yeah. So you want? Some, <laughs> yeah. Exactly. I studied psychology. Yeah. So you basically want somebody anxious compared to somebody who's avoidant. Yeah. yeah. So you're, yes. but you're anxious. It sounds like, right? Me. Yeah. 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 And I you am. want someone else that's anxious. You know. You know, you, since you study psychology, you should know that an anxious person should be with the avoidant person, and a, you know, an anxious person shouldn't be with an anxious person. No, no ab- so, so I'm dating right now, mm-hmm. um, and he is definitely someone who is very um, gives me my space. But I think growing up in past relationships that I had been in, people wouldn't give me my space. So I think this has been like a new learning thing for me. And, and to realize, like, hey, hey this is great that someone doesn't blow my shit up. But for me, sometimes I need that reassurance of, like... Every now and then. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. So so you basically saying that it's right then. An anxious person should be an avoided per- with an avoidant person. I think so. Well, you're not, you don't want to add fuel to the fire. <laughs> the shit just blow up. And I think that's when toxic things happen. Uh-huh. <laughs> Okay, because yeah. you would probably get annoyed if they were like blowing your shit up all the time. You just um, want it sometimes. Yeah. 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 yeah like I don't want to feel like I'm in some other universe and you're in another universe. Like I want to yeah. feel like we're on the same planet, and that. Yeah. Okay. okay. I guess I'll go next since I was second. We'll, we'll go reverse order the time. Okay. Okay. My toxic trait is I like. Um, I hate it, but I love it. But I hate it when women are like arrogant and like overly confident. Like to the point where, like, do you know what I mean by that? Like, because arrogance can can be, can be can be linked to narcissism, and narcissism is seen as toxic. But I like sometimes, like, when a woman is like arrogant or really, really confident, like they really think really highly of them. Like, I'm I'm not gonna lie, that shit kind of low key, kind of hot. But at the same time, it's like kind of like, and like, <laughs> I like it, but I love I, I hate it, but I love it. You know what I'm saying? Does that make sense to you guys? Yeah. That's how I feel about men too. And Jesse likes uh, Jesse likes arrogant women. <laughs> no, Jesse not, like them boss bitches. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's it's what like, he like. Yeah, yeah. It's like, that's it's what like, he like. It's that energy. Like sometimes, like women, like like they just like and they they know they're the shit. And I was like, ah, that's that's kind of hot. Like, yeah. That's yeah. Just you know like what com- mean? That's just confidence. Yeah, yeah, confidence, arrogance, whatever, narcissism, or to whatever degree you want to call it. But basically, that energy. Mm-hmm. Like I love that, but I hate it. Can I ask you something? Do you think you kind of love it because you're like, yeah, that's a challenge. I'm trying to conquer that challenge. <laughs> no, I think it's I think it's just more. I just, I just rather somebody who's because because confidence, or sorry, arrogance and a cockiness can be confused with confidence mm-hmm. for women and men. Mm-hmm. So sometimes in that energy, I may see it as because I like a confident woman. Mm-hmm. You know but I saying? think you can easily identify when it's arrogance. Or when it's confident. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I think that sometimes you can't be get confused, but sometimes it can be seen as like initially as the same thing. Then you realize, oh, wait, you ain't with that confident. You just cock. You just That's really true. like cocky. You know what I'm saying? So like, like the arrogance I'm, is fake confidence. Yeah. Same. Yes. That's yes. Exactly what it is. Yes. Yep. At face value, initial approach. When I see someone, I'm like, oh, that's kind of hot. Then like. If it is end up being confidence, but it ends up being like arrogance, I'm like, ah, nah, I'm good. So that's my toxic trick. I like. Okay. I'm real curious what all of y'all <laughs> I thought about this long and hard. I thought about it really hard. I'm like, what is something that I am attracted to is the games. <laughs> a little bit, yeah. A little a little bit of the games, but we love the games. We love the games. <laughs> but it's like the the games as well as when a girl is like kind of like you, it's like a little like questions you about like a little it gives you like a little bit of they're like a little sass. Not sassy. Mysterious? It's more like they're jealous of you. 
that makes sense. Like they're questioning if you're like doing something with another girl. Oh, okay. What what is what would you call that as? Was that jealousy? <laughs> jealousy. I think that's just jealousy. Jealousy, like a little bit of jealousy. Okay, not a lot of jealousy. All right, it's not like oh, you can't breathe in a girl's direction. <laughs> but, but like, oh, are you basically talking about like a little bit? Like, it's kind of like possessiveness. Yes, yes. I like it when girls are like a little bit possessive. Like you and my man. Like why are you breathing over that girl? You should be looking over here. Yeah. Damn. I, I I find that as like kind of hot. I don't know why. It's like oh, you want me like that? Oh, I I I like that a little bit. So you need that reassurance. A little bit. Honestly, yeah. <laughs> Is that what you need reassurance? Honestly, honestly yeah, I've, I've thought about. It. Yeah, it's a little bit like that because i don't know it's because i'm a libra or whatever i'm a i'm a naturally <laughs> flirtatious guy i guess or i just like to talk to people i like to talk to everyone so i guess it can be seen as being flirtatious with people he's also very flirtatious he flirts with me all the time <laughs> <laughs> no key that was mine uh, yeah, it's, it's a little you like it's just a little but bit I'll possessive. explain my, mine later it's just like, you i don't know i just kind of like a little bit of that possessiveness you want to piggyback from oh, since okay. you're since you already said it so i feel like there's only um this only can work in like the talking stage. Like once you guys are established, it's not as it's not as big a deal. But like mm -hmm. if you're in the talking stage and say you're going like on a trip and she's like, Don't talk to any girls. That's low key hot. <laughs> <laughs> That's low key hot. You're right, you're right, you're right. I'm like, you're right, I'm Stevie Wonder out here. <laughs> yeah, I yeah, you're right. Man. You're right. Oh, oh man. My, damn, girl gonna be taking notes like <laughs> I'm telling you, it's, it's, I doubt it. I don't know why. It, it, it's kind of a, be, like I said, all these all these traits. It's like on a scale. It's like a little too much. Yeah, yeah, of it, yeah, you're yeah. like, it's not hot anymore. It just, but it it's it also ick. it also can only work if like if you're into the person, the mm -hmm. other person. If you're if it's like you're just talking and you kind of like don't really know them and they say that shit, it'd be like I would back up. Yeah, but you kind of have. to. Oh, you got backups. No, 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 no. I'm saying <laughs> you got you back up. He said, no, you I'm saying you you like, I would back up. Oh, I'm about to say, like, not go to a backup. Okay. I don't have any backup. Okay. So I'm upgrading his bench players. To his bench. <laughs> yeah. But if it, if it happens too soon, then it's it'd be mm -hmm. a turn off. That's okay. be like in a in the right moment. Okay. All right, Reza. But you, Reza. Turn, damn, are these? I don't even know. Can you guys give me some examples of toxic traits? All right. You know, we'll, we'll, I'll give you some simple ones. Yeah. Um, you know the uh, five love languages? Sure. Quality time, right? You okay. know, they say that uh, the, that your toxic trait is the opposite of your love language. So if you're quality time, you withhold time from the people that, that are like, if you're dating somebody and your love language is quality time, you basically withhold time from them, right? If you are physical touch, right? If your love language feels touch and then like you got a girlfriend or something like that and like you're being toxic, you withhold physical touch from them. Yeah, this is a dickhead move. If your love language is uh, gift giving, your toxic trait is you probably um, overindulge in shopping surprise. You oh, you spend too much money. You you shop a lot, stuff like that. Uh, what else? You, uh, you're asking me what toxic traits that I might find attractive in a girl, right? Yeah, yeah. To a, to a, uh, those are just some examples. I just want to preface this: we're not saying <clears throat> you have to like it at no, the level know. ten toxicity. Like maybe just a little, look a little. The, what is it called? The dose. Makes the yeah, yeah. something okay. poison. Jealousy something. is another one. Gaslighting. I like competitive women. Oh, you like the competitive, right? Yeah. Okay. So like uh, board games, sports, um, anything like that. <laughs> and when they like talk shit to me, right? Oh, okay. you like it. You oh, like the talking shit. Yeah. Oh, like, the oh word. Shit. <laughs> okay. And the then, energy. Just yeah, the energy <laughs> just change, right? But then like we can flip it after the game, and it you go back to being like my shorty, you know. <laughs> So um, I was like thinking about it when you guys were talking and I was like, damn, I tell you, man, like I don't have a lot of like if you the toxic trait that I had in the girlfriends that I've had, uh, I, I didn't like any of them. So I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I did not like any of the toxic traits that some of the girls that I had had at the time. Um, but I guess um you guys know overly competitive people, right? Like men or women. I'm competitive. Right, like no, 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 no. Overly competitive. Like you lose friends over stuff. Yeah. Uh, I don't think that's serious. okay. Oh. I, 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 but I don't like that? losing. I hate losing. Okay, that's different. I hate losing. I, I'm talking like I don't want to be your friend anymore. Type over. No, 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 no. That's childish. There's to people me. like that, right? Like shout out like FXA folks. So <laughs> <laughs> those people to me are toxic people, right? And if I'm like, okay, if in a girl. You know how you said there's a scale? Yeah. Like, if you're overly competitive to the point where, like, you're not going to hit me up after I beat you, 
clot, right? Yeah, yeah. But uh, I think the short answer to you is that I, I like I like when my girls are, um, uh, has some competitive fire in them. Okay. okay. Yeah, and th- like they talk shit to me, and they're not afraid to do that. Cause some girls are very like timid, right? Um, but those that are like, uh, that have the the balls to. Well, I'll take that back. <laughs> yeah, I, don't you, I, I, I don't want you. I don't want you to have balls. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, it, yeah. I want them to buck at me. I want them to be to be open and and and, and competitive. I like that's what I like. 